Hello, I'm Carrie Weirs. Um, we are making a large 9x9 nine nine foot photograph over here. Um, the process that we're doing is called a cyanotype, and it's actually from about 1842 was the invention. Um, and it is two chemicals, it's very safe. It's potassium ferrocyanide and ferric ammonium citrate. Um, it is a great first alternative process to learn if you're interested in historic process in photography. Um, I'm Conrad Eek and I'm going to butt in here. I'm the darkroom technician and we're going to develop this quickly so that's my technical part and this one is really challenging. We use tap water. The students did the plan and Carrie directed kind of the, the, their thought process and uh, I was in the dark for part of it so. Yeah so we um, you know we tell them the amount of space and we try to think of a concept or an idea. We did decide as a group to go with showing something that felt really photographic um, so it's sort of an animation of an artist photographer making a picture of a subject and the subject is hopefully sort of flowing through the space with these objects kind of um, coming out almost in a cone shape behind him. Just maybe a little bit of our conceptual stance here even the cone shape is specific to photography and the way that light is cast through lenses. Um, so we're just trying to put these little indications uh, in the piece. Yeah, I think one of the keys to what we're trying to do here during the couple of weeks we have with the students is help them develop their own language of photography or they learn better ways to make their expression in a photographic image more universal or it's more about what's on the page or what's on the canvas than what's in their heads about the photograph they've made. The material is light sensitive and any of the areas that are exposed to light will turn a deep blue when, when we run it through the water bath to process it. The areas that are not exposed to sunlight will remain the color of the original sheet or canvas or whatever fabric material you're using for the process. Uh, and there will be variations of tonality because in the heat, if, if the models start to sweat, their sweat will start to process uh, the uh, cyanotype before it even gets to the water bath and create some interesting colors. So generally you're using a resist of some sort, be it a human body, a rock, a tree branch, uh, anything opaque on a certain level will give you interesting imagery as it's exposed to the sunlight. Hi, I'm Holly Burkhart. I'm Anthony Smith. And we're photography students. We just created a print of our shadows from the sun. And we basically just had to like lay down on a cloth for 20 minutes. Uh, bugs crawling over us, arms falling asleep. Sunburn, yeah. but I think it turned out pretty cool. The it result's pretty cool. nice. It's really exciting since we always take pictures and make art. It's exciting to actually be in the art. Yeah, yeah, nice to actually be in it, like you said. Yeah, and our entire photography class collaborated on it and all had a part in making it by placing pieces down on the painting. Yeah, there were like people whose whole job was to, like spread out the sheet and everything. It was pretty good. Yeah. Well, our students are amazing. Yeah. And so energetic and enthusiastic and rock stars. Yeah, I echo that. You know, I've been lucky enough to come here several times and each time I go away energized by what these students bring to this place. 